Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Ohio voters approved a ballot measure on Tuesday that changes the congressional mapmaking process, a move proponents say will rein in excessive partisan gerrymandering. By passing the ballot measure, called Issue 1, Ohioans amended their state constitution to create four different pathways to draw congressional districts. The new process will go into effect in 2021, when the next round of redistricting takes place. The complex process still leaves redistricting primarily in the hands of lawmakers, but it also builds in significant safeguards intended to prevent one party from shutting the other out of the process and drawing a severely unfair map. Ohioans adopted the measure at a time when there is a strong push to limit the ability state lawmakers have to draw a map that benefits the party in power. While both Democrats and Republicans across the U.S. have gerrymandered to their advantage throughout the decades, critics say that Republicans took it to an extreme level in 2011. By the end of June, the U.S. Supreme Court is expected to decide two cases that could, for the first time, set constitutional limits on how far lawmakers can draw district lines to benefit their parties. Ohioans never gave up on the fight to end to the manipulation of congressional districts for political advantage and today our efforts paid off, said Catherine Terser, executive director of Common Cause Ohio, who led the coalition supporting the measure. The Ohio plan had overwhelming bipartisan support in the state legislature when lawmakers approved it for the May ballot. It reaches a middle ground between giving lawmakers control over redistricting and letting independent commissions draw congressional lines a step some states have taken in an effort to limit political redistricting. Under the new process, lawmakers still have initial control of mapmaking, but they can only pass a map with a 60% supermajority in the legislature, including the votes of 50% of the minority party. If lawmakers can't agree on a map, the process goes to a seven-member bipartisan commission, which can only adopt a plan with the support of two members of the minority party in the legislature. Should the commission fail to agree on a plan, lawmakers will get a second chance at redistricting. They'll still need a 60% supermajority to pass a new congressional map, but they would need the support of just one-third of the lawmakers in the minority.